All right, if you're using Google Sheets and you have a list of dates, then what you want to do is either show them as the day of the week or extract the day of the week from them and show it in another column. We're going to go over how to do that right now. Now, if you just wanted to show the day of the week as a number, you would use the weekday function. All right, that's nice and easy. But this video is not about that, right? This is about how to get the day of the week as a word. So we're not going to use the weekday function and then use that number to look up the day of the week. I think that's a little bit too clunky. We'll do this one of two different ways. So the first way that we're going to do it, we're just going to change the formatting. So this isn't pulling the result of the day of the week into any other cell or formula. This is just changing the way it's displayed. All right, so select what you want to change, go up to format, and we'll go to number because valid dates are just really numbers. And do more formats and more date and time formats. All right, so this pulls up a custom menu that knows it's a date, so it's giving you the options of how to show the month, the day, and the year. So we don't want the month or the year in this case. So on year, we're going to left click and choose delete. And we'll do the same thing on the month. We'll delete these slashes as well. And this day it's showing right now is just going to display as a five. We don't want that exactly, so we'll left click on this. And you have four different choices here, five, you have a leading zero of 05, so it's the same number of digits if it's the 5th or the 31st. Uh, but we want to show it as the word, so we're going to go all the way down, display it as the full name, and just click on Apply. All right, nice and easy. So if that's all you wanted to do, then you're done. But the other solution here is you may want to extract the day of the week. And we're just going to do that with a function called text. All right, so this is going to take a number, and the day of the week is a number in this case and it's going to format into text. So we're going to give this uh, the cell range where the date is, so in this case it's D10, and we're going to return the day. I'll click on the formula help here. The first thing is the number, so we gave the cell range, and the second thing is the format. We'll start this with a quote, and then as we saw before, the day is just specified by a D, and then that, that would return the day as just a single number. So you see that being returned already up here in the blue font. Two of them would do the leading zero. Three would do the shortened version of the day of the week. And four would give us what we're looking for. So we'll close that off with a quote. Close the entire function off with a parentheses and hit enter. And there you go. You're getting the day of the week. So Google Sheets is smart enough to suggest to autofill that formula down. We'll use a check mark and say yes. So this same theory can be used to return other parts of a date like the month, minutes, seconds, etc. And as you've just gotten a little taste for working with dates in Google Sheets can be kind of an eye-opening experience. They convert to numbers, sort of, but using them can be confusing. So this next video is going to show you how to work with dates and times in your spreadsheet. I'll see you in that next video and thanks for watching. It's good to have you along.